This is metamaterials on the monthly chart. And the question is, can it get back to a dollar in six months? Why a dollar in six months? Well, we're going to get into the article that discusses why a dollar in six months is so critical. However, before we continue with analysis, we must understand its history. And with that said, NASDAQ grants Metamaterials a 180 day extension. So, one troubled mean stock finally has some good news to report. The other day, Metamaterials announced that NASDAQ has granted a 180 day extension for the company to regain compliance. This gives Meta until March 18th of next year to trade at no less than $1 per share for 10 consecutive days. Metamaterials currently trades at about 20 cents and hasn't seen any real growth in months. No matter how hard retailers and investors work to drive hype for the stock, any superficial momentum quickly fades. This doesn't bode well for Meta's chances of regaining compliance. The company made headlines back in December of last year when FINRA halted trading of its preferred stocks. Investors were going up crazy, putting their hands in the air um, as they thought that it was an opportunity to uh, manipulate the stock price. Nevertheless, shares haven't ever been close to Nasdaq's minimum bid price since February of this past year, and there's nothing to suggest metal materials will suddenly rally and stay there. It should be worth noting that trading on the Nasdaq hasn't done much for this unstable mean stock. Despite its place on a major tech stock index, Meta has still proven unable to demonstrate actual growth, even on positive new days. And yes, if you can't demonstrate any growth, being on a major index isn't going to do you any well. You're going to have a hard time raising capital because no one's going to be confident in the business model, in this case, Meta Materials. So retail investors who still hold Meta materials, well, stock will celebrate this update as a win, but claiming it as a turning point for the company mm, might be a losing battle. While that's possible, it certainly isn't probable, and other investors should not rush in to buy. All right, so let's go back to the charts. And uh, we're going to go straight to the weekly, but what you can see on the monthly chart price has just been basing for the last uh, five months. That's a good sign in that you do not have any continued downward momentum. Um, and it's a good sign in that this may be the floor. Um, but from where it's been, which was $10 plus to 20 cents now, uh, I think it's a dead stock. Now going to the weekly, we can see this massive move. And I don't know what the callus was for that news, to be honest. Uh, but it wasn't good, I can tell you that. <laughs> and ever since then, price has been uh, sideways. Now, this is the daily chart. That massive move down was a gap down. And again, I don't know what caused this massive move. However, as you can see, price action has been consolidating. And now all the moving averages have caught up and converged, with the exception of the 200 day moving average. I believe that price action is going to continue to consolidate. I don't envision any news callus coming out for the company. The only saving grace is if the 200 day moving average can continue to come down. As an example, say until the end of the year.
and you get something like this sideways price action until the end of the year and then some type of catalyst pushes stock higher and then you retest that 200 day moving average before continuing the uptrend hopefully in route to a dollar but that's a pie in the sky dream at this point again I think metal materials is a dead stock but I've seen crazier things happen on Wall Street over the past 20 years thanks for watching subscribe please like the video